Sure. And I'm Meg McLeod. The Heritage High School Hawks are starting their season with a cloud hanging over the program and several players no longer on the team. TV 5's James Felton spoke with the superintendent about how they are handling the controversy. I'm sure they had some questions. You know, they were, they're, uh, they're getting caught up in the middle of this through absolutely no fault of their own. Saginaw Township Community Schools Superintendent Bruce Martin talking about the Heritage High varsity football team. Four of its players listed on the roster were arrested Tuesday for their alleged connection to a burglary earlier this month. The incident took place here at the Showtime Guns and Ammo store on Bay Road. Those four players are off the team. Martin addressed the squad on Wednesday, giving them words of encouragement and some advice. It would be best if, if anybody knows anything or overheard rumors or um, you know any locker room chatter or anything, you know, let somebody know ahead of time. Uh, let us know now before things you know get even deeper uh, and w at this point we haven't heard anything so that's good news. The Hawks open their season tonight. Martin tells us it's a shame the players that have worked so hard to chase gridiron glory under the lights have to deal with this. I do feel for the kids they, they didn't have anything to do with this and again that was part of our message yesterday that, that we want to make sure the kids can uh, stay focused on their jobs and, and the adults and take care of our jobs. But given the trying circumstances this week, Martin believes his student athletes can rise to the occasion. Once that first snap comes, I think the kids will settle in and be able to put all this distraction away. The Saginaw County Prosecutor's Office is still reviewing this case. And as of now, the people arrested for their suspected roles in this gun heist have not appeared in court yet. Reporting in Saginaw County, James Felton, WNEM, TV5. James, thank you. The Saginaw County Prosecutor's Office says they are now in the process of issuing charges. It's still unclear when the suspects will be arraigned.